I stared at him most of the time kapag natutulog siya. I often ask myself, how can a man who looks so peaceful do something like that sa akin? I am in shape. Inaayos ko yung sarili ko. I have a good career and we are physically active. What else could be missing? Nakita ko na to before. The calls na ang pangalan office sa araw na wala siyang pasok. Phone na hindi ko mahawakan. Kahit busy siya, lagi niyang dala. Mga late night office meeting. But nakikita siya ng friends ko somewhere else. I know. But I did not want to believe. Until today that I saw a ring. Pero yung engraved na pangalan ay Vivian. You know what's funny? My name is Lorraine. Ako si Lorraine. I guess I saw them but chose not to believe. Ito ang aking biyaheng Red Flags. My love, I am the type of person that do believes in second chances. I try not to believe sa kasabihang once a cheater, always a cheater. Kasi eh, alam ko naman sa sarili ko na lahat ng tao capable of change. And that kind of change is something na hindi mo mapipredict kung ngayon ba siya mangyayari. Sa next relationship niya pa ba? After two more relationships pa ba? You don't know. You just don't. There's no way of telling if this is the person who can probably change someone. Pero I do believe in staying in the relationship as long as you can. Until there's nothing more you can do to make it work. But that's me. Ganun kasi ako magmahal. Sinasagad ko yung sarili ko hanggang dulo. Hindi ako naniniwala na kapag nagkamali ka ng minsan, hindi na kita mapapatawad. Kasi I know, I'm like anyone else. Na kapag mahal na mahal nila isang tao, kahit ilang beses nang nagkakaroon ng kasalanan. Wala tayong habas magpatawad. It's as if our patience... And ability to forgive becomes endless to this person. Kasi as much as we love that person, we also want to make that relationship work. Nakakasawa na kasi talaga sa totoo lang yung dating period eh. There will come a point in your life na sawa ka nang mag-date. Not because hindi na fun sa iyo yung ginagawa sa date, but because it's hard for you to start over again. Starts, start trusting someone again. Start from the beginning, from scratch, sa relationship and count endless days again until makonsider mo na siya as something serious. It's just too tiring to do the whole shebang over and over again. Meet the parents, meet the cousins, palagayan ng loob. Ligawan ng pamilya. Nakakapagod din. So that's why, kapag alam mong medyo samkay na, ando ka na sa age na, you just want to make it work until the end of time. Hanggat kaya mong magpatawad, nagpapatawad ka. Hanggat kaya mo pang stretch yung relationship, i-stretch mo pa. And that's when pumapasok yung sinasabi ni Lorraine. Na sometimes you do see the red flags. You just choose not to believe na it is a red flag. Pero L- L- Lorraine, ngayong accepted mo na sa sarili mo na yung mga nakikita mo before ay red flags. I am telling you now na you are closer to the end than you think you are. Andun ka na sa point of acceptance na, hey, 
after how many months or even years of denying it to myself, ngayon tinatanggap ko na na there's a problem. There's an issue sa relationship naming dalawa. And once na nag-gather mo na yung courage mo, para ka usapin siya. The end will be a lot clearer to you. It's hard to assume na this Vivian is the someone else, the third party. Pero with the way he is making you feel for how many months now, with the tiny little lies na lagi mong nahuhuli, he should be able to feel that there's something going on with you. Na at some point, he is already hurting you. But he chooses to lie over and over again. And that's an issue more than the Vivian issue itself. Yung alam mong conscious siya na nasasaktan ka na niya. Pero wala siyang ginagawa to change it. Yung alam mong alam niya na, mabaka, na baka mag-cause sa iyo ng pain yung mga little lies na sinasabi niya and yet, pinipili niya pa rin magkamali. Inirisk niya pa din yung happiness mo, yung feelings mo over that little lie. That is a bigger issue than the third party itself. Kasi yun ay kawalan ng care sa partner mo. Kawalan ng concern sa nararamdaman ng taong kasama mo at karelasyon mo. Now that you have accepted na there's an issue in your relationship, like how a mature person in a mature relationship should handle things, I think it's time for a conversation. Tama na yung pakiramdaman. Tama na yung uh, basahan ng galaw, tama na yung hintayan hanggang may isang taong lumapit, hanggang may isang taong umamin. Tama na yung paghahanap ng mga pruweba to prove a point. It's time for you to have that conversation. The sooner the better for you. Uulitin ko, I know it's tiring and exhausting to do the dating stage all over again. Pero it's better than forcing a relationship to work if you know within your heart na it's slowly dying. So Lorraine, have that talk. Now it's time for you to open up. Lahat ng fear mo. Fear of the truth. Na baka nga may someone else. Let's put an end to that. By, habi- by having this conversation. Kasi if you wanna cry. Then you have to cry for the right reason. Not for something na hindi pa nangyayari. Not for something na hindi nyo pa napag-uusapan. Not for something that's just in your head. Isipin mo na lang kung magsasayang ka lang din ng luha sa isang taong sinungaling. Manapang magsayang na lang ng luha sa tamang dahilan. At yun ang hiwalayan. Hindi yung iiyak ka ngayon, magpapakatanga ka uli bukas. Now that's a wrong way to address this situation. So no matter how scary it may be, have that talk my love. Because this one is for you, not for him. Claro? Claro.